encounter with God. If you turn your Bibles to the book of Exodus chapter 34, verse 5 through to verse 8, encounter with the Lord. You, you see that in Exodus chapter 33, the Bible says that Moses, he went before the Lord and he began to pray, you know, that the Lord will go with them. And as the Lord, as he was speaking with the Lord, then he prayed, he said, Lord, show me your glory. Show me your glory. You know, that should be your expectation. That should be my expectation. Show me your glory. And God said, ha, you want me to show you my glory? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Listen, he prayed. For, he prayed that prayer and God granted it. It pleases the heart of God when we ask for him to show us his glory. Amen. Amen. Show me your glory. And of course, the Lord said, all right, I will show you my glory. You know, and in Exodus chapter 34, verse 5, the Bible says, the Lord descended in the clouds. Are you with me? The time came for the Lord to show him his glory. And the Lord descended in the cloud and stood with him there. The Lord needs to stand with you. I said, the Lord needs to stand with you. Amen. The Lord needs to stand with me. Amen. When God descends into the midst of us, Hallelujah. when God descends into your midst, huh, you cannot be the same again. Amen. No, you and I cannot be the same again. Moses was not the same again. When he came out of that experience, the Bible says his eyes shone. So much that the people feared him. And they said, look, next time you want to come to us, you know, cover your face, please. Eh? When you are going to your God, eh? you are the one that has that relationship with God. So when you are going to him, you can open, you, you can unveil yourself. But when you are with us, you know, just cover it. Because you have come into this camp with God's glory. You have come into this camp with God's glory. We fled from God. And now we have another we have another representation of God here. Please cover your eyes. Listen, the place of encounter, when you get there, people have to know that something is different about you. If there is no if there's if there is no change in you, then you have not get, you have not reached there. Yes, the Spirit of the Lord is moving right now in the world and in His church. Just when the hope of many is fading, God is restoring back hope. As the strength of people is failing, God is increasing strength to many. As many are heart driven away from God to sin and unrighteousness, God is calling and raising men and women in righteousness and truth, gathering them from the ends of the earth unto Himself and into His glorious church. God is calling you right now to come and be part of this great move of the Holy Spirit. Join us in Christ in You Glory Church every week on our Sunday Holy Convocation service to celebrate God in praises and worship and to lift up our voice in prayer and supplication. For He hears the prayers of His people. At Christ in You Glory Church, you can be sure that the Word of God that comes through His servant, Pastor Anthony Adichile, will meet your need. Now, may the Lord grant you, according to the riches of His glory, to be strengthened with might through His Spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. Christ in you, Glory Church, developing a people of righteousness, a planting of God.